During my childhood, I always watched several cartoons on the Cartoon Network channel. Adventure Time, Regular Show, The Amazing World of Gumball, during the 2010s era of the program. On Cartoon Network, I found the most enjoyment watching their cartoons as it was very comical and enjoyable. Even after the years going by, some of their shows still hold up today. During 2014, my 9-year-old self was on the living room couch watching Cartoon Network, and I noticed this particular Lego commercial that caught my eye. This was unknowingly the moment my life changed. Mixels is a Cartoon Network and LEGO original project featuring colorful monsters that mix together and have fun. Yeah, it was literally that simple. Mixels was created by John Fang and David P. Smith. John Fang is known for being a director and storyboarding artist for Ben 10, and David P. Smith is known for being a writer and actor for the Powerpuff Girls. Cartoon Network paired these two together because they thought, surely with both of them, they will be able to make some masterpiece out of this, right? Now, I think it's safe to assume that not many people knew about this series, that it was very unpopular and almost glossed over by Cartoon Network themselves that put other shows like Teen Titans Go! and Adventure Time out more than they did with Mixels. I don't really blame Cartoon Network for not putting this show out front, as each episode is roughly around two minutes long anyway. The main reason why I even liked Mixels was not originally because of the animated series. Instead, I was more intrigued on the whole concept of what Mixels really are. The way of introducing mixes were the main selling point of the whole series, but not just for the cartoon, but also for the LEGO side, meaning you can make your own mixes as long as you have the LEGO models. And well, that's exactly what I did. I made several mixes of two different LEGO characters, and sometimes even three. I would even sketch out my own mixes on paper. The possibilities were quite literally endless. After 2016, the show made its disappointing end and I started to forget about Mixels myself and focus on school. That is, until I got my laptop and got my first drawing software. One day, I was scrolling through Twitter and saw a reanimation collab on an episode of the Mixels series. Since I was relatively new to digital art at the time, I decided that maybe I should pass this up. Then, the collab runner said that they needed one more person, and a moment of desperation got the better of me, and I thought to myself, you know what, what's the worst that can really happen, right? This show is what drove me to make my first published animation, and I'm not going to show it, because it's really, really bad. As you can see, clearly it was the first animation I've made. Despite me hating this now, it definitely was motivation for me back two years earlier. In fact, so much motivation, I would spend countless months improving. More animation tests, more practice, and what better practice than drawing simple shapes? Exactly what Mixels were made out of. Eventually, it got to the point where I had to start mimicking the art style of the official series. In fact, I received comments that mentioned that my fan-made creations looked like something that Cartoon Network would make themselves, which was really flattering at the time, and still is today. Now, on the surface, this is a glorified miniseries or experiment that Cartoon Network tried, and it didn't really stick to a lot of people. But it did stick to me, and it did change my entire life. This show that Cartoon Network has been trying to erase from history is the sole reason I find myself making digital art and animation today. Mixels will always live rent-free in my memories, as without it, I wouldn't know where I would be in my life without them, surprisingly. Mixels, and alongside other Cartoon Network creations, has helped me with every step of the way, and will somehow continue to be a part in my life. 
as I go moving forward into my own projects.